Hey, how's it going? And today we are taking a look at teleporting a trigger device in verse code. And what this looks like is this. I just go into the game, start, and there's a trigger device right there. And if I step on it, it goes up. And you can jump on it. It has some potential, I think. So it's just kind of cool. If we look at the code on this real fast. So I just have a trigger device in my console here. And let's just take a quick look at the code. So we've got our trigger device. And then we set up a vector here. I set it as a constant. But it just set to 100, 100, 100. And you could set it to whatever position you wanted the trigger to go to. And then down here, we have my trigger that we reference here. Triggered event that we bind to this trigger function here and I wanted to just mention this real fast is that this is one of the few instances where you can actually see a typecasting going on oh, there's just one T in there because what we're doing here is we send in an option container it could be either false or have an agent in it and it's assigned to agent here we unpack it and assign it to valid agent and we have to call it within an if statement because we don't know if there's something in there or not. If there's nothing in there, none of this code's gonna work. So, but if there is an agent, it gets assigned to valid agent. Once that happens, this is how we can do typecasting is we, we put down the, the data type that we're trying to cast to right here. And then we're using the brackets, we put in the type that we want to convert. So here we want to convert an agent to a player type. There's not that many examples of it I have. There's just like two or three that I can think of. But this is one of them because, and we can only do this because this will only work because player is a subclass of agent. So we are able to convert the agent type to the player type by doing this. So you can try to do this with other things. And then we have then my player here and actually there's no reason to to do this because I don't really I don't really need this <laughs> but I do need this part here so anyway I just wanted to throw that in then we call this move it function down here and then because this is a creative device we have access to this all the same functionality that all the creative devices have which means it can be teleported so what we do is we get the transform. If I hold down control and click on it, we can see it here in the code. We can get the transform. If we click on transform, we'll see that that's a structure. And then we can get one of these components off of that. And I did a tutorial about how to access fields on a structure. And that's why this is important is because this comes up quite a bit when you're dealing with vectors because vectors are stored as structures. So check that tutorial out if you're so inclined. But anyway, we get that and then we can call rotation. And this is how we access fields on a structure is with the dot operator and rotation. So we reference my trigger, we get the transform method, and then we call that field on the structure rotation and pop that into my rotation here. And then we can use the teleport method here. And then we have to call it within an if statement because it can fail. So we reference my trigger, we go teleport to, and it needs a vector and my rotation. So we just grab the rotation from here, this value, and then we have my vector up here. That's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.